Stanford University. The bottom line is in looking at the census data, which has massive sample size and therefore tremendous statistical power, is that there's no deficit in these same-sex couples for their children, that their children do just fine. And this is a fundamental finding because this is something that people have been wondering about and haven't been able to find data for. So we're trying to, to come to bear to that and say, actually, if you look at the data, which is the best data that we have and maybe the best data we're ever going to have on same-sex couples and their children, the data show pretty clearly that their children do just fine. And instead of worrying about the problems of same-sex couples raising children, what we really need to worry about is getting the state out of the business of raising children and letting families do the job that they already know how to do. And the truth is, we've missed the point. The point is, all the families are doing a pretty good job. The group that isn't doing a pretty good job raising children is the state. The orphanages, foster care, the shelters, they're no substitute for family. The children who are in those environments are dramatically worse in school than the children who are in families. And so what we really need to focus on is moving children out of the orphanages and into families. And the real problem that we have is not that gay and lesbian couples want to adopt kids. The real problem we have is that there aren't enough of them to adopt the kids who are in the orphanages and the shelters that we have. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.